All right, it's your girl Lori Mack here on 105 on the Bounce. And a jack of all trades, I don't even know where to start. International speaker, host, bestseller, author of over 16 times. Please help me welcome the one and only Dr. Eddie Connor Jr. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. It's a while. It's an amazing honor to be with you. And you know, you're the voice of choice. So oh, I like we, that. We, we on the way to the bounce, right here on the bounce. So, okay, you know. look, see, don't be mad if I take that. Voice of choice. <laughs> voice of choice. Okay. So you there know, you school is back in session. Yeah. You know, I'm a mother, so I'm I'm very, very excited for that about, about, about that part. But uh <laughs> I know, right. You know, with school being back, uh you have a lot of what, different ways, actually two different ways of reaching children and, well, I don't want to say the adults, but. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, teachers, children, you have a way of reaching them all, right? And uh, you have a way of doing that through books. I sure do. Listen, I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. Uh, education is my background. Ah, I like you that. Know? So I was in this classroom for 12 something years and then it taught on the collegiate level. So working with our our kids, you know, um, really from middle school up through high school and even beyond mm. that, it's really been near and dear to my heart. And so I've written two new books that are slated to come, to come out in the next few days Very nice. called Strategies for Successful Schools. Uh, okay. Yeah, how to really empower our children to read, lead and succeed and then learners or leaders. Ooh, I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Now, so, what age frame is that from? That's from? Really, really, I would say from preschool to preteen. <laughs> okay, I have a third grader. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I must say, I have a third grader, so if that can help him, because he needs some guidance. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And I've got a 31-day journal in the Lear Learners of Leaders book, which is specifically for our children. And then there's talking about mental health. We're, we're looking at bullying and so many things that our young oh. people are dealing with, and mm -hmm. they need positive affirmations and positive words to keep themselves encouraged. Absolutely. Yeah, and then uh, my other book, Strategies for Successful Schools, really showing our teachers how to make our children see, how to make our children feel seen, heard, and valued. Mm. You know, education is the key, but the lock is broken. Say yeah. that again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> education is the key, but the lock is broken. Mm. And so we've got to have different modalities and methods. We got to be innovative in our approach. We got to be next level thinkers, next level leaders and teachers right. so that our children can feel ingratiated and so that they can feel as if education is inadequate because if we don't evolve, we won't be involved. Exactly. Yeah. And then you say it drops in a couple of days. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be on my website, theeaglesacademy.com forward slash books, okay. as well as Amazon. And so these, these are my 17th and my 18th books. I've never dropped two books at one time. But oh. September 11th is mine. Oh, For real, it's what okay. is going up. It's going up. <laughs> September 11th, where you get the books anywhere and everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so yeah. you said it's 17, 18. 17 and 18. Yeah. So you know we got to come on back. So let's go over your books. So you have yeah. over... Yeah. At this point, almost over 18 books. Well, what, yeah. what is one of your favorites out of all of them? One of my favorites, well, you know, I, I got to borrow a line from Tom Brady, that Super Bowl champion. He said, my neck, my, my next, my favorite ring is my next ring. So my, oh. next, my favorite book is my next book. And I won't even say that. But, my, but you what, got two, so you can't say that That's this time. true. That's true. <laughs> but I got to reach into the, the, you know, the, the autobiography, the, the anthems of some of the books that I've already written. One is The Mask of Masculinity. Ooh, how like men that. can reclaim their identity leading level of vulnerability okay. and a lot of times we don't give brothers a safe space and place to be able to express their emotions being a man is hard work but it's heart work and so beyond mm -hmm. just wearing the s on our chest it doesn't always mean that we're superman sometimes it means that we're scarred we're scared we're suffering in silence and so really to get to that particular place of understanding that we can be clark kent and then still be vulnerable too in the right place with the right people mm -hmm. will provide a safe space for us to do that there we go. Yeah. That's the one right there. It's powerful because it is hard. You know, I think oh, that yeah. a lot of men are, are afraid to admit that, you know, admit sure. getting help or mm -hmm. just saying, like, I need, I need to talk to somebody. Oh, yeah. We had to be tough for so long. And I've been in that particular area as well. You know, this year marks 24 years of me being cancer free. Yeah. By the All grace right, of congratulations. God. Congratulations. Yeah. That's yeah. a big accomplishment oh, in yeah. itself. Absolutely. Stage four cancer at that. You know, my. Wow. If you don't mind, what kind? What yeah. type of well I was having these bad chest pains and you know my favorite two glasses of school were Jim at lunch love to chase the girls in gym sit down oh. eat with him at lunch and I'm See? <laughs> <laughs> I'm lethargic I'm feeling pain in my chest in school and you know I gotta be a tough guy right you know pain is weakness leaving the body and 
didn't want to talk about the pain at all. And I'm over at my friend's house watching a football game, can't breathe by halftime. His mother takes me to the hospital. My mother meets me there. Mm. The doctors take me to surgery immediately after doing an x-ray and they see there's a tumor forming. They cut me open. They see my cells and are growing in my body so fast that they can see them growing with the naked eye. Wow. You know, around my heart and my trachea and my larynx and I use my voice for a living. And felt great coming out of surgery. The doctor says, you have uh, NHL. I said, um, I'm getting ready to be the youngest owner of the National Hockey League team. Go Red Wings. Oh. <laughs> he says, no. <laughs> he says, you have nine Hodgkin's lymphoma. I'm like, doc, my first language is Ebonics. I'm still trying to learn English. What do you mean? What? He yeah. says, you have not one, not two, not three, but four. I'm filling my pockets of five, four dollars. He says, stage four cancer. Oh. And so my father never visited me one day in the hospital. People I thought were praying for me were literally praying on me sitting on the sideline expecting my demise if it wasn't for a praying mother, much less faith in God and the determination to keep on going, Amen. I wouldn't be here right now. And so to find the can in cancer mm -hmm. is nothing but the grace of God and a blessing. So mm -hmm. I realize service of the rent we pay for the space we occupy. And now that I have a second chance in life is about helping other people to discover their purpose and push them into their destiny. Mm. And I feel that. I feel yeah. that 100% just from, from your words, you speak yeah. so much wisdom. And obviously that was your fuel. That was That's, your fuel. Oh yeah, totally. That was what it was. I mean, and then now you're touching teachers, youth, and you have a program too, correct? Absolutely. This is uh, those who purchase my book, Strategies for Sec Successful Schools, and then also Learners of Leaders, proceeds go to my mentoring program called Boys to Books. Oh, nice. Empowering our young brothers to read, lead, and succeed, literacy, leadership, life skills, enrichment, especially when they're building prisons based on second and third grade reading scores. You know, we really have to change the trajectory and stem the tide to provide opportunities to unlock our brother's dreams mm. rather than just locking them up. You know, I, I tell my young brothers all the time, you're not going to do four years in a prison house. You're going to do four years in Morehouse. OK, you're not doing you're not going to go to jail. You're going to go to Cornell and Yale. Oh, I like not that. prison, but Princeton, not four years in a correctional facility, but four years at a college or university. See, you and, no even, <laughs> <laughs> and here's the thing. And even if there's no college if you pick up a trade, mm -hmm. we got to let them know that a, uh, a plumber is just as important as a professor. Absolutely. An electrician is just as important as an educator. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So You can do anything. Absolutely. Do any, anything your mind is set to. That's very that's important. Facts. Because 100%. people, a lot of kids think like, if I don't go to college, then that's it for me. If I don't have a career, yeah. I don't have nowhere else to go. And it's, and it's not a lot out here for the youth. Like, it's not a lot of programs we don't have a lot of centers anymore we don't have a lot of recreation centers that kids can go to to ease their mind or their pain or somebody to talk to not at all it starts at that young age yeah and it grows up to what it is now so yeah it's actually it's very very powerful i love everything that you're doing right now everything that you stand for so again what can they do when is the book dropping where can they go to get it both of these books not just one two oh, yeah. i said again oh absolutely not what day one. is your day yeah, <laughs> Sept listen, <laughs> September the 11th, I need you to bounce on over. <laughs> okay, look, bounce on over. I like that, bouncing bounce, on over. <laughs> bounce right on over to theeaglesacademy.com. The revolution not only be televised, it'll be digitized. Theeaglesacademy.com forward slash books. And then also it's available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble as well. Don't just get one book, get both books for mm. teacher, for a mentor, for a parent, for a guardian, for a community caring member, and of course, for our children. That's important. Yeah. Thank you Absolutely. So much. And before we go out here, I got to ask, what's Eagle Academy? Can you explain that to us, please? Yes. The Eagles Academy is really the place where I do online teaching, coaching, training. Oh. You know, I believe mentorship is that which can really take what they what people have learned in moments mm -hmm. and months and give it to you in minutes. They can take what they've learned in decades and give it to you in days. And so People who are in our amazing Eagles community is where we empower you to soar into greater success and purpose. You're going to feel the transformation. You're going to feel the camaraderie. You're going to be able to be a part of my online teachings that are live sessions each and every single Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. And if you, if you can't make it, you always have access to our uh, trainings and coachings and live sessions. You'll be a part of our Facebook group, private Facebook group. Also, you'll be able to connect and network with so many amazing other individuals at theeaglesacademy.com. We got a special rate going on right now. It's just twenty four okay. ninety nine. That's it. It's still of a deal. Oh, that's for the value that you're gonna deal. get. Theeaglesacademy.com, and so that's online. But I do want you to also come to my church. I've been newly elected pastor. Oh, congratulations! Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're gonna slide that in. I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I felt I felt there was an opening right there. Let you know us what I'm saying? Know. Let us know. Yeah, okay, yeah. Where's the church? Please, 
please tell us about it. Absolutely. It's called the Remnant Worshippers, and we're located at 2470 Hubble Street. I'm saving okay. you a seat every Sunday Okay. at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. And then also we have Bible studies at 7 p.m. 20470 Hubble Street in the city of Detroit, right off of 8 Mile and Hubble. Okay. And so I'm just, last week I was just had my first service, and so... I'm I'm just two weeks in on the job. Oh, just two weeks, no jitters, huh? <laughs> oh, it's a whole lot of them. It's a whole lot of them. But we, it's a it's a beautiful collection and camaraderie of an amazing congregation. And uh, the the previous pastor, G. Peggy McIntosh, re retired. Salute and shout out to her. And she decided to, uh, through the the election process, I was able to want be the one who was voted in, and I got the baton now. And we're right. running on to see what the end is going to be. And so our motto and our method and our methodology and our vision is faith, family, forward. Ooh, and so, I like yeah, that. yeah I like join that. our family. We're going to give you the faith to move forward. Okay. And uh, we'll be there every Sunday, 10 a.m. I look to see your face in the digital space in our place. I want to okay. see you there, too, now. Look, I, look once Br you Bring say, wheel, too. Oh, my goodness. Look, I'm <laughs> telling you, you can't say no to a pastor. You can't, you can't say no. Come on, you can't say no. Oh, my goodness. If you don't, if you if they see you on the streets... <laughs> Come on. I'm going to be like, hey, now, I ain't seen you. I ain't seen you. I ain't seen you. Where you been? Where you been? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to be there. I definitely yeah. want to come and check out the church. Please. It sounds amazing. If you're going to be preaching, I mean, I have to be there. Every I have to Sunday. Get my Every Sunday. I mean, you sound confident. So I don't have, not a doubt in my mind, you'll be 100% successful. I am so glad to see where you're going to be, where you're already going. I mean, just don't forget about me when, when you make it over. No, no. I, I, I got to come back and testify right <laughs> on here. I, I got to say, listen, you got to bounce on over to the remnant worshipers. <laughs> Look, bounce on over. No, We're really. going to put a pep in your step. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> no, I really, really do appreciate you coming on the show today. Uh, yeah. Again, thank you. And if you want to get his books, again, where can they go? Oh, absolutely. The EaglesAcademy.com forward slash books. The revolution not only be televised, it'll be digitized. The EaglesAcademy.com forward slash books, as well as Amazon and Barnes and & Noble. And it comes out? No, 9-11, September the 11th. 9-11, yeah. read them a week. There we go. It's Thank a state you. of emergency. Look, stay, it's serious. Yes, it serious. is. Serious. Go yes. get the books. Go get one, two, three. Take it to a teacher, to a student, whoever you feel might need this. You know what I'm saying? Spread the word. Thanks so much, Dr. Oh. Eddie Connors, Jr. Thank you Thank so you. much. Appreciate you. Oh, that was great.